talk shows, you've done a bunch of them. What is that like? I mean, obviously, it's a different kind. It's not the same as getting on stage in front of an audience that has, you know, paid to see you. The very first one we did was David Letterman, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, well, I remember that. Especially so when I was a kid, we moved from New York to St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And I used to, my parents would always watch David Letterman at night. And my mom would kind of refer to it as the news. Because <laughs> that's where she would, you know, she, she would, that's where, that's where she would kind of feel connected to the East Coast and what was going on there. As we're right. Watching, you know, because you watch the local news at six o'clock or whatever. And then, you know, you watch David Letterman at night. And so I would always, used to, I used to go sit on the floor, like at the foot of their bed, like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> watching. and watch and then, Dave. You know, I'd, I'd I'd go in there and watch the top ten or whatever with mm-hmm. them, and then uh, so that was actually my first experience doing it, which was which was cool. And um, I mean, it's <laughs> I was so nervous, man. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I was so nervous. I mean, you can see it if like it's probably on YouTube or something somewhere. If you look up, uh, I think I might have it. I think I may have found it through some yeah, questionable think, means. I think it was in- I think it was in 2010. I mean, mm. th- this particular song we were doing, uh, it started with a little guitar thing. And I mean, I'm just terrified. Mm-hmm. Play the thing. The thing sounds all right. Then I'm like, ah, yes, now I'm into it. <laughs> like, <laughs> but but it was cool. It was I, I enjoy doing things like that because everybody, it was a new experience, but everybody I met there was such a professional. Right. And it was just a well-oiled machine. I mean, these guys have been doing this forever. Not yeah. just David Letterman, but, you know, the camera guys, the sound guys. So everything was very, it's very New York, very to the yeah. minute, very streamlined. You're you going to stand I, over I, here I, on the X. Uh, you're going to come out yeah. here. All yeah. right. You're going to yeah, stand yeah. here. You're going to wait. Dave's going to introduce you. Then you're going to, yeah, the whole yeah working, like, working class East Coast kind of demeanor. Yeah. Right. And so uh, the house band. You know, Paul Schaefer and them. They, right, and the CBS Orchestra. That's right. That's I couldn't remember the name. That's right. So they <laughs> As uh, soon as you said that, that somehow that clicked in my head. I haven't thought of that in years, and Dave's like been off for I think six years. The, I like how you said it in the Featuring voice. Paul Schaefer. I'm sounding like Don Pardo. That's Saturday Night Live. It's Saturday Night Live. That I can do easily. I don't remember the dude who did it for for Dave. But anyway, sorry. I'm getting self indulgent now. C- continue. Letterman. That's it. Now got me doing it. And now so, um, the original right. Gerber, baby, David Letterman. Yeah, that guy. I can't remember his name. I can picture him, but anyway. They kind of wheel the stuff. The crew wheels the stuff out there, and they're like, okay, guys, you want to get in place? Um, if you want to, like, if you want to, you know, if you want to give your guitar a whack or something to make sure everything's on, that's cool. Like, maybe try to make it in the same key that the band over here is playing in. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, okay, That'd be nice. do that. And, and it's so, it's fast too. That's the thing when you see it's you, it's quick. It, it's it's quick. Th- yeah. those sh- those shows, even though they pre-record them in the evening, they're pretty much done in real time. So the length of a commercial break oh, is definitely. the length of the setup. Definitely. So it does go very very fast, which is why as a performer, all of a sudden it's just like, okay, get on stage. Here's your mark. Make sure you're in tune. You're good. Oh, okay. No, the whole the whole thing is still done in an hour or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's sure. not like re- relaxed just because it's it's recorded six hours earlier or whatever. It's still like no, it is, that happens in the length of a commercial break. It goes from nothing's on stage to the band's wheeled out in place and ready to play by the time you know the countdown not, begins. It is not a situation where, at least in my experience, it was not a situation where it was like, okay, take as many takes as you need, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, also, though, thank God, because, I mean, I'm kind of the type of person where like, okay, Take as much time as you need. It was mm. like, well, don't tell me that. I'll take all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what that's like. like. So we go out through this, the wheel of stuff out. I go, I plug the stuff in, and I noticed that Paul Schaefer and the orchestra, they're playing Hey Pocky Way, mm. which is sort of a New Orleans standard. And I'm like, oh, well, this is appropriate. That's cool. And so we're kind of tank, tank, thing. And then we started playing along with them. And then both bands are kind of playing together for a while and i was like oh yeah this is cool oh, and then sweet. that really and so that happened for maybe a minute or so it wasn't long but it was just enough to kind of to calm the nerves it, to get you you calm the nerves to cut the cut the tension it was just like and sync the oh, sync the band up too without having any yeah, exactly. anything before it just was, going on stage was, cold uh, just have that minute is helps you lock yeah, in exactly. with each other and, and it's a it was a real um it was a real nice sort of like ah yes like this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing and we're mm-hmm. doing it that being said, it was like, dear God, this is my first time playing on TV. <laughs> don't, uh, don't let me screw up the intro. To this <laughs> right? Did you feel any vibes or any, any spirit or anything being in the Ed Sullivan Theater? 
I mean, just because all the bands, I mean, certainly the Beatles and, you know, countless others who oh, played no, on that, that stage. No, no, was it, it was, yes, there was the, I mean, for me, it was, uh, I mean, those vibes were certainly there. I think the, um, the connection that I described a little while ago about just kind of like, wow, this was the, this was one of these shows that I actually watched regularly. Uh, Letterman went and, uh, talk to everybody afterwards like immediately right. afterwards like you see that on okay. um, yeah how are you great show yeah, yeah, great exactly. yeah he comes and does yeah, the, the handshake good. and everything the voice is good thanks man no, that's the stuff i work on when i'm home alone right <laughs> <laughs> like i gotta get a david letterman impression because that's current there you go 